Environmental engineering student Jeff Thomas is putting his 2010 Volkswagen Jetta to the test. The North Carolina State University master's candidate bought the diesel for its power, but also because it was supposed to be environmentally friendly. It was uh, definitely blew me away when I'd been previously looking at some hybrids. The German automaker has admitted to using software to fudge emissions tests. The result? Millions of Volkswagens worldwide have been spewing excess pollutants into the air, and it might have been caught sooner. As part of his course, Thomas's professor, Chris Frey, has tested about 120 cars in the past 15 years. Except for one vehicle that was malfunctioning, we've never seen emissions this high. Two years ago, he tested a 2012 Jetta TDI wagon, but he only tested one VW that year and passed it off as an anomaly. So we didn't realize this was a systematic problem across an entire model year or range of model years. Now, Frey's doing what he wishes he'd done two years ago. Okay. Using a mobile lab, GPS units, and the car's own onboard computer, Frey is running various VW models through the mill. He's mapped out a 110-mile course full of ups and downs and lots of traffic. It typically takes three to four hours to do that driving. When the results from Thomas's car came back, it wasn't pretty. So this average rate is 13 times greater than the standard. And then for these individual routes, they're about 12 to 18 times greater than uh -huh. the standard. Your car is equivalent to 13 of these cars. Wow. Yeah. That makes me feel great. Uh, a little um, relieved that it's not 40 times, which is some estimates I read in the news. Thomas says Volkswagen should be held accountable and fix what he thought was his perfect car. Alan Breed, Associated Press, Raleigh, North Carolina.